So here we go, the Pixel Watch 3 has finally broken cover as the first set of renders and some further information has come to light about this new wearable duo. So why don't we get into some details and delve into what you need to know. Before then Pixel fans, I'm pleading to you to subscribe to the channel. I love making videos for you and so does Jordan. So do me a solid and become part of our growing community. We're trying our best to make it one of the best and inclusive communities of like-minded fans on the internet. And if you love what we do even more and want some cool stuff, maybe even some exclusive 95 Google FC Euro 2024 wallpapers only for channel members, how about you hit that join button? We have one hell of an offering if you ask me and probably if you ask some of our channel members. So the Pixel Watch 3 appears to be taking a very measured approach to innovation and building upon the successes of the Pixel Watch and Pixel Watch 2 while addressing lots of their major shortcomings. The familiar circular bezel-less display and convenient rotating crown, both praised features for the previous models, seem to be making a pretty welcome return if you ask Pixel fans. For the first time though, we're also getting two options because, as we all know, one of the biggest criticisms levelled at the first two generations of the Pixel Watch was the lack of size options, particularly as it is a small size. because. As anyone out there with a larger wrist probably attests to, that 41mm size was a little bit small and addressing this head on, the Pixel Watch 3 is coming in that brand new 45mm size along with that original 41mm option. The confusing thing here though is that according to the latest leaks, the 45mm Pixel Watch 3 is going to be called the, wait for it, Pixel Watch 3 XL. I actually thought we were done with that naming scheme by now. The good thing though is that this larger size will offer a significant increase in screen real estate and hopefully a more comfortable fit for those of us or anyone out there with a larger wrist, putting it on par with competitors like the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. This wider range of sizes makes the Pixel Watch 3 and 3XL a more attractive option for a broader audience and could help it compete more effectively in an increasingly crowded smartwatch market. That said, we've lost a lot of players on Wear OS so it could position Google in a really strong place. It's also important to note that Google is still catering for those of us who prefer a smaller watch by continuing to offer that familiar 41mm size. In terms of the renders, this ensures that everyone has an option no matter what their wrist size or preference for a sleek profile. Those leaked dimensions suggest that the Pixel Watch 3 41mm option will be a touch smaller than its predecessor, measuring, if this is actually circle by the way, 40.79mm by 40.73 millimeters. I thought it was a rounded pebble, but it will be thicker at 14 millimeters compared to the Pixel Watch 2. The screen size is stuck at 1.2 inches. Does this mean we're gonna see these same big bezels or curves to help hide them again? I'm not sure, but you can tell me from the renders that you'll see on screen now. For the XL, it's coming with a 45 millimeter by 45 millimeter body that is 13.8 millimeters thick. There's no word on the battery size on that particular model, but the display is going to be 1.45 inches. That might not seem like much, but it does make a huge difference on this specific form factor. If you've ever used a smartwatch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The introduction of that larger size naturally though leads to questions about the potential feature differentiation between these two models. Is it going to be similar to Samsung's approach with the Galaxy Watch series? Um, it has me wondering, especially as the 45mm Pixel Watch 3 might boast some additional functionality beyond its increased screen size, but simply at this point in time, we don't know just yet. Leaks haven't provided any specifics as yet, but the larger form factor does typically allow for a larger battery. This is particularly welcome news considering that battery life has been a common pain point with the original Pixel Watch, which I'm still using, and even the Pixel Watch 2, which did have some battery benefits. Of course, the newer model did provide some improvements in terms of power and efficiency, but this newer version should be uh, core focus. I think it should be core focus, especially for this next generation, more than on the second generation. Another area for improvement is hopefully going to be the bezel sizes. Although the renders are not necessarily as clear as we'd like them to be, Google has managed to make the bezels on the Pixel Watch work better aesthetically than a lot of the wearables out there. They are noticeably or still noticeably thicker than what competitors like Samsung and Apple do offer. Whether this is going to be a limitation of that pebble-like shape or of the pebble itself remains to be seen, but a reduction in bezel size would definitely give the Pixel Watch 3 a more modern look and help maximize the screen real estate. As I mentioned, the renders for the smaller model look almost identical, at least 
as far as my eyes are concerned. I suppose one of the good things here is that despite some speculation ahead of time that Google might consider a complete design overhaul and adopt a square form factor, similar to what you'll see on the Apple Watch, we're actually getting another round of wearable. Durability is one of the biggest concerns for me where I think users would like to see some improvement. The first generation Pixel Watch, for instance, is just prone to showing wear and tear. A flatter screen with the Pixel Watch 3 could potentially address this concern, but I have to say the renders look like a carbon copy of the previous generation, but with just slightly, slightly, ever so slightly smaller edge bezels. On the other hand though, it looks like by retaining this rounded design, we might actually be able to use existing accessories like bands and even that magnetic charger from the first and second gen Pixel Watches for the 41 millimeter I'm specifically talking about here. The bad news is that the Pixel Watch 3 XL could have a slightly altered band system to accommodate for that larger chassis size. Something that I think was expected, but it still does hurt a little bit. We'll probably see a bigger charger here too. And that means that potentially you're gonna have to get a whole new set of accessories if you do want that larger option. There is still no concrete information yet on the chipset that will power the Pixel Watch 3, but I do think it's likely to be the Snapdragon W5 once again, as Qualcomm actually hasn't announced a new processor to supersede that chip. And there's no indication that Google will be incorporating their Tensor chip, although it actually can't be entirely ruled out, at least at this stage. While it's not perfect, the Snapdragon W5 has proven very sufficient for the current Pixel Watch 2, and it'll likely be more than enough to power the next generation of Google wearable devices. According to more of these leaks, the Pixel Watch 3 will get a larger battery though. The base model is expected to get a 307 milliamp hour internal cell, which although is a tiny three milliamp hour bump over the Pixel Watch 2, I think there could be some gains here as this is where Wear OS could really show its true colors and provide some extra gains. The reason being is the primary focus of the Android 14 based Wear OS 5 is improved battery life. And Google even says that running a marathon, weird way to judge battery life, well, that consumes up to 20% less power on Wear OS 5 versus Wear OS 4, which is currently running on the Pixel Watch and Pixel Watch 2. Google is also pushing developers to build apps on watch faces that are innately more power efficient. On the watch faces front, Wear OS 5 will include a newer version of the watch face format that actually arrived in Wear OS 4. The format is designed to let Wear OS itself optimize the performance of a watch face so that developers can focus on the design. The new version of the watch face format enables easy access to things like weather information and adds new styles of complications too, and that's always nice to see. So far though, this format has been a great success for Wear OS, having been adopted by, although this seems low, 30% of watch faces on the Play Store, that's still pretty good considering it was introduced just over a year ago. Google is hoping to keep that momentum though, going by gradually pushing developers away from the older style of building watch faces. I think if we can get more options using this new format, the battery gains could be pretty wide reaching for the new watches when they do arrive. We're also really interested to see if or how Google integrates Gemini into the mix here as well. At the moment, it's the plain old Google Assistant on the Pixel Watch, but surely, surely we'll see some integration with the Gemini later this year, especially as it was such a huge focus at IO and it seems to be a huge focus for all brands, all tech brands, including Apple moving forward. So given these latest leaks, given we've had our first look at these devices, I think visually we've got to give it to Google for sticking with the design language that works for them. Personally, I wouldn't have hated that squarish shape that was rumored. My Pixel Watch first gen is definitely battered after almost two years of on and off usage with that pebble design because it's, it's just a bit more in the way and a bit more like open and prone to damage. So I would have been pretty I'd have been pretty open to a design change, I must admit. I want to ask you though, what do you reckon so far, given we've getting a glimpse at these for the first time? I don't think we're going to see huge changes, but it's going to be notable nonetheless. Are you happy or disappointed by the lack of visual overhaul? Let me know in the comment sections below. It's always interesting to hear your thoughts. But before I head off, as I noted at the start of this video, if you want to celebrate the launch of the Euros over in Germany right now, Euro 2024, our members are getting exclusive access to 9 to 5 Google FC wallpapers, and quite a few of them, I might add. If you want to get them for yourself, hit the join button to learn more. Thanks again to our channel members also on screen now. You are the true legends of this channel, and I will speak to you later.